Hello, welcome to Moo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, we're talking about basics of statistics, and we're talking about measures of center, the mean, medium, and mode. The mean is the average of a set of numbers. And here are the steps for calculating the mean. Add all the numbers in the data set. Divide by the total number of items in the data set. If there is a zero, it must be included. So let's look at the very first example. We have Megan babysat nine times. She earned 15. Let me write this up, move this up, sorry. She earned 15 plus 20 plus 10 plus 12 plus 20 plus 16 plus 80. She worked a lot. Plus 18 and 25. Now, if you add all of these numbers together, you get 219. And then we're going to divide this by 9. And why 9? Because remember, divide by the total number of items in the data set. And if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And if you divide 219 by 9, that is going to equal $24. Okay? Let's look at another quick example. Say we have 25 plus 24, and then we have 10, 12, and 19, and we want to get the mean of these numbers. Well, like I started here, you add these together, and if you add 25 plus 24 plus 10 plus 12 plus 19, yes, I did cheat. I added them beforehand. That equals 90, and we're going to divide that by 5. Again, why 5? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when I divide 90 by 5, that gives me 18. And so the mean of these five numbers is 18. Now let's move on to the another measure of center, and that is the median. And the median is the number in the middle of a data set when the numbers are in order from least to greatest. Steps for determining the median. Arrange the numbers from least to greatest order. Cross off the greatest and least numbers in the list at the same time until you are left with just one number in the middle. This is the median. If there are two numbers left in the middle, you have to find the mean or average of the two numbers. So let's go ahead and work two sets, and I'll rewrite these. Let's find the median of 35... 55, 50, 20, and 45. And what my steps say is first arrange the numbers from least to greatest. So I will go ahead and do that. So we have 20, then 35, then 45, then 50, and 55. Now, um, Crossing things off, checking with calculating, especially if you have several numbers with median, you need to be careful and not be careless here because you'll miss something. So now, let's start at the greatest, cross that off, and the least, cross it off at the same time. Next, we'll do it again, the greatest and least, and that leaves us with 45, and that is the median, okay? Let's do one more quick example. Let's go with the numbers are 202, 104, 412, and 300. And on this, let's first arrange them from least to greatest. So we have 104, and then we have 202, and then 300 and 412. And we cross off the greatest and the least, and then we are left. We don't have a greatest and a least, so we have and then, two and numbers. When we cross them off, we're left with two numbers in the middle. So now we need to take the mean of these two numbers. So when I add 202 and 300, that's 502 divided by 2 equals 251. Why did I use 
uh, two because remember when you're calculating the mean you do um, you total the numbers and divide by the number of numbers in the data set and that is two so anyway the median of these groups of numbers would be 251 okay so now let's move to the last section and that is calculating the mode and the number and the mode is the number which occurs most often in a data set there might be one mode more than one mode or no mode so let's look at an example and I have an example in each one of these and um, I'm going to go ahead, let's just go through. If we look at this, 16, if you look carefully, it only occurs once. 40 occurs once. 28 occurs one, two. 19 occurs once. 36 occurs once. And 6 does. So the mode of this set of numbers, 16, 40, 28, 19, etc., is 28. Let's move down to the next set quickly. We have 50. It is one, two times. 65 is 1, 2 times, 90 is once, 75 is once, 80. So in this one, we have more than 1. We have 50 and 65. This next one, we have 8, 1, 2, 3 times, 9, 2 times, 12, 2 times, and 4, 1 time. So since 8 occurred 3 times in this example, it will be 8. And last but not least, let's look at this next example. We have 13 occurs once, 21 once, 15 once, 18 once, 17 once, 16 once, 22. So there is none. There is not a number that occurs most often they occur the same. Hope that helps with measure of center. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day. Please subscribe and share.